It is a hippopotamus, everyone. A hippopotamus in Red Dam. That is this quarry that we are sitting at now, here at Arathusa. And it is some of the last remaining water. And hippopotami like this one here, of course, are wandering between the last remaining bits of water. Normally young bulls, suboptimal habitat. And they're looking for nice places to lie up while the water is, is sort of diminished. They will eventually, I suppose, have to head down towards the rivers, the Sand River to the south, and which will probably flow. I uh, wonder if it is still flowing, actually. Uh, there'll be some pools left there. And then more permanent water, the Sabi River to the south of that. The hippos really are having a very tough time. And if you don't know about it, we had a severe drought during the summer. We're into the dry season now, and you know, so it means nor it doesn't normally rain at this time of the year. But because we've had such a very bad drought during the wet season, there really isn't anything like the standing water that there would be at this time of the year. You can feel, perhaps, if you close your eyes and just imagine it and take a deep breath in, see if you can feel that really pleasant northwesterly breeze coming straight over the top of that hippo, touching us slightly with the smell of the standing water. It's not an unpleasant smell at all, it's a very bush smell. Infused, of course, with the subtle scent of buffalo dung. And it is completely silent, but for that little bit of wind. Very few birds calling, the odd fly flying about my head. Otherwise, it's all rather quiet and rather peaceful and contemplative, I must say. A day like this, in the middle of the dry season, as the water's starting to dry up, it's definitely time for contemplation. This chap is definitely contemplating. Either that or he's asleep. What do you think, Viam? I'm talking about the hippopotamus, not the bird. The bird is, oh, very well spotted there. That is a grey go-away bird, everybody that VM didn't want to tell me about. He chose instead to embarrass me by pointing the camera of it while I spoke about the hippo. Yeah, we're going to have to do something about your attitude, I think. Mm. He's nodding. I wish you could see the impressive beard on his face. Uh, before he goes on leave, we're definitely going to have to show it to you because it really is, it's quite something. He looks like a sort of hobbit slash yeti at the moment.